I think that the Citadel Cross Country team definitely came in not realizing exactly what they were getting into a little bit with my expectations. Plus they know better with their summer training. So I've been using this month to be patient, especially with our knobs, because we do have a lot of freshmen who are on our, in our top five varsity. And so just understanding what they're going through as cadets mixed with my expectations, I'm learning as well, right along with them, that they needed more of a base. So I'm, ex I'm pleasantly surprised and excited for what's to come and trying to be patient. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of these kids were recruited under a different coach. So I had to go back and do a little research to see that growth. And I think that my hope is that taking care of some of the little nagging injuries that they might have had in the past early on doing a lot of preventative work, it's going to allow for that growth. I don't know that I've witnessed huge leaps and bounds. We do have one um, particular graduate student who came to us from Carolina who had a previous pretty serious injury actually um, and never had a cross country PR I think faster than 1945 and she went 1854 on a hilly eye opener course two weeks ago. So I was pretty happy with that progress. Uh, good. I am someone, you know, from the outside. I have not been at the Citadel. I didn't go to the Citadel. So definitely mixing in some, I think, fun aspects and keeping some things light, but also regimented and mixing that together has helped with team culture. And it's been a lot of fun just getting to know each person. And I look forward to, you know, I guess, furthering that positive vibe, because I think a lot of people maybe didn't have that belief that they could still get better, even as juniors and some of them seniors, because they haven't improved as much as they'd hoped. I'm hoping that that positivity uh, and just that mindset, that growth mindset is still there for them. Well, I have my one year, my two year, and my three year plan. So for the first year, I definitely just hope to get to know the Citadel, get to know these kids and what makes each of them improve because right now I'm seeing that, the, you know, as in any sport, the right, the one formula doesn't work for everyone. So I'm hoping that figuring out over the next year, those that I have more than one year left with, I hope to figure out what they can accomplish, whether it be with higher mileage, whether it be with speed, everybody works differently. So I'm hoping to A, figure out each individual, B, increase kind of morale, and in that recruiting process, I hope that that speaks for itself. Like just the way that the vibe that people feel, the energy that people feel can help attract them to a program. So I'm hoping that the kids see that and feel that for me. And then of course that will be a cycle um, that will continue. And then for the third year, usually I've always seen programs that I've, I've personally been a part of turn around. It's been that three years, sort of that magic mark where you can actually see, okay, I've put in the off-season hours, I've put in the in-season hours, and now I can finally reap the benefits of all that hard work. But usually it takes about three years. A funny, silly, simple question is a lot of people just don't even know how cross-country works because it's technically not an Olympic sport right now. And it's hope they're hoping to add it to the Winter Olympics in 2028. And I think that one article I read said that it was to increase actually countries who don't participate in the Winter Olympics as much. It can allow them to do that because it is something that you put your running shoes on and you can compete in. But a lot of people just view it as like just crazy people running across fields. But in fact, the way that it works is, you know, if it's actually being scored as a team, five people cross the line and they score six runner bricks tie. Some people know that, some people don't. But also the agility and kind of like difference of racing and tactics that go into cross country versus a track race. Some people just assume it's all the same. So I guess the question would be, you know, what are some things you can do to prepare for cross country that's different than track since people mostly group them all together? The answer to that would be um, the terrain on which you train, which is very hard at the Citadel. And so they're surrounded by concrete. I mean, literally that was my biggest fear was like, what are we gonna do? And Hampton Park, you can't do but so much. So I've been really just like, early in the morning mapping out like lanterns or my cones. Like I get here sometimes at four or 4.30 and put the lanterns out. And then 
finding little places in the area, like secret places on Sullivan's, there's a little hill there, um, and getting them off campus as much as I can to train and be a part of the same terrain that you're going to be racing on, because everybody feels fast on a track, you know, or on the road, but can you feel that way when the terrain isn't as perfect?